are living in an unfamiliar time. I, for one, am constantly wondering, when will things go back to how they once were? When can we go back to school, work, and spending time with our friends and family? When will things just go back to normal? Trying to see into the future can leave one feeling clueless and hopeless. We may not have a crystal ball or a magic mirror, but we do have math to form predictions on what's to come. Enter the Sir model. Oh, excuse me, I'm a little rusty. Hello, goodbye. The Sir model is a mathematical model used to predict the spread of a pathogen. It divides the population in into three parts. S for those susceptible, I for infected, and R for those removed from the system. Note, when I say removal, I can either mean recovery or death, <laughs> since either way they're removed from the system. We also have two constants, A Hi. for the rate of transmission and B for the rate of removal from the system. Hi. These constants can vary depending on the situation, along with new findings about the virus. The rate of each interval with respect to time is how we predict the virus is spread. The amount of susceptibles is at a decreasing rate since, over time, people leave this group to become infected. Infected people then become removed, affecting this rate. By this logic, the rate of infection is found by subtracting the rate of change for removed from the susceptibles inverse rate. If this rate of change is less than zero, the pathogen spread should die out. If it's greater than zero, people are catching faster than they can be removed, leading to a pandemic. Similarly, taking our rate in which the susceptibles are transitioning and dividing it by the rate of recovery gives us a value key in predicting the spread of the virus, R0. The basic reproduction number, or R0, is a range used to describe, on average, how many additional cases a sick person will cause. For example, if the R0 is 2, each sick person <laughs> makes two others sick, and that cycle continues on. Some real-life examples include the seasonal flu with an R0 of around 0.9 to 2.1, and as of now, COVID-19's R0 is around 1.5 to 3.5. Wait a minute, I started working on this video project in May, and now it's June, and the R0 has already gone up to 5.7. That tells you how much researchers are uncovering about this virus every single day. Now, I gotta make a change to this project. Mathematically, to lower R0, the number of susceptibles and the transition rate needs to decrease, while the rate of removal needs to increase. Lowering the number of susceptibles requires a vaccine that we don't have as of yet and increasing the rate of removal is tricky since it can either mean recovery or death. What we can do is take precautionary measures to lower the transition rate, such as wearing our masks, washing our hands, elbow bumping, and most important, staying home. Staying home greatly reduces the risk of catching and spreading that nasty virus. Look, I know everything is so frustrating, being all cooped up inside, not knowing what's gonna happen next. We may not be able to magically see it in the future, but we do have math as our guide. Our situation may be frightening and unfamiliar, but it's not unpredictable because of math. 